was a setup. They knew we were coming. That bastard Dragovich. The Russian. Eh. He was behind everything. Where did Dragovich take you? To Russia. A labor camp. Oh, a hellhole called Vakuda. Oh my god. What did they do to you, Mason? <laughs> what didn't they do? Castro and Dragovich were working together. Yeah, you were a gift. Yeah, right. Where did Dragovich take you? Fukuda. He had to fight. Just to survive. What happened in Fukuda, Mason? I was on my own. Almost a year. Think, Mason. What did they do to you? I've given up hope of ever getting out. But Victor Reznov found a way. <laughs> you would break, America! Victor Reznov? My friend. You hit like a child! I talk to the soul, Pony Mighty! Soboki! Hey, Smolach! Hey, sick that to your stop! Reznov. Mason. Every journey begins with a single step. This is step one! Secure the keys! Now, we take Vokuta! Hello guys, welcome back to some more Call of Duty Black Ops. In this episode, we're going to be completing my favourite mission in the game, Vokuta. Oh, I love this mission so much. I remember when I first played this mission, this lit mission literally blew me away by how fun it is, escaping out of Orkuta prison. I remember when I first played this level and when I beat the level, I would just play the level over again because I wanted to do it a second time. It's just like they say, first time was so nice, I had to do it twice. That's just what this mission was like for me. This is actually probably one of my favourite missions in Call of Duty. Easily my favourite mission in Black Ops. I don't know, I probably preferred the mission all gillied up and crew expendable to this mission from Modern Warfare, but besides that, this mission comes very close to being one of my favourite Call of Duty missions of all time. This mission was so fun. I remember this guy, Sergei. Big, tough as nails guy. He and us are not so different. We are all soldiers without an army. Betrayed, forgotten, abandoned. In Fakulta, we are all brothers. That's gotta hurt! That looked brutal. I remember when I saw that for the first time and I thought, oh, it sucks to be that guy. I don't care, these guys deserve it. They're not keeping Mason in here. Reznov, your men must know this is suicide. Victory cannot be achieved without sacrifice, Mason. We Russians know this better than anyone. Yeah, this is certainly suicide getting out of prison like this, but I think these people would probably, some of these people I can imagine would probably rather die than be stuck in here much longer, to be honest. I can imagine some of them are probably thinking like that. Oh, no, Reznov, you're pushing me out the way. No, you don't. We've got Sergei here to help us push the minecart. I'm just going to make sure no enemies sneak up on us. I would hate to be stuck in a prison like this. Well, rather, I'd hate to be in any prison, to be honest. But I think this prison, yeah, last place I want to be. So in this place was like torture to Mason, as we find out throughout the game. But at least you have Victor Reznov here to give Mason a bit of hope. 
There's another guy there. Come on. And kill this guy. Make sure he don't take me out. Okay, so far, how close are we to the tower now? So far, Reznor's proud of how far we're getting, but this is not going to be the end. Vorkuta is one tough as nails prison. This was the mission though that made me fall in love with Vix I mean Reznov was a cool character in Modern War, but this game just made me fall in love with the character Reznov. Keeping Mason full of hope. Making an attempt to get out of Orkut's prison. This mission was the mission that made me think of Reznov as one of the best Call of Duty characters ever. I need another weapon though, so I can't keep this pistol if we're to rain fire. I'm going to need to rain much more fire than this. This way! Okay, I'll find another weapon. Is anyone up here? I'm on it. Oh, that's a prisoner. Sorry, is there any weapons up here? I don't think there's any weapons up here. We'll worry about that in just a minute. Okay, so I want to aim slightly above the target so it will... We're hoping this will hit. Let's find out. Yes! Good shot! Okay, that's so target number two, and I've got target number three. When we get rid of these, it's going to be so much easier to get out of here. We won't have these raining fire on us. Oh, I missed it! Oh, third time unlucky. Hold on. Well, I'll try it this way. Let's see if this is high enough. Yes! Perfect. All right, it's one step closer to getting out of here. Okay, Reznor's got a gun. Where'd you get that? I'm guessing that guy had a weapon dropped. We'll find another weapon in just a minute. Here we go. Shotgun. I need an assault rifle, though, but this will do for now. Yes, we will. No one else is spending any more time here. Right, pick up the AK. I'm going to need this. Get out of here. I think I attempted to complete this mission on Veteran actually around the time I first played this mission just because this mission was so fun. I wanted to see, I wonder how difficult this mission was on Veteran. So I gave this mission a 10 Veteran. Obviously, I imagine I probably died a few times in that, but I think I managed to complete the level just fine. I don't think this was the first mission I attempted on Veteran. I think the first mission in World of War was the first mission I ever attempted on Veteran, I think. Or was it? I mean, it might have been this. I don't know. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if this was the first mission because obviously because for how much I fell in love with this mission and the amount of times I replayed it over and over just because of how fun it was. I want to blow this up. Shame I ain't got any grenades right now. That's what I need at the moment. Okay, I think I used the shotgun as my secondary. I think I'm going to need to stick with the AK for now. Get out of here. We ain't rotting in this hellhole much longer. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Press the R2 button, but nothing happened. Oh well. At least I didn't get blown up. I'm heading inside. Okay, all clear so far. Sorry, Chopper, you're going down. Come on, crash down onto the ground. There we go. That will send a message. We are getting out of here, and they ain't gonna stop us. <laughs> you all know what to do. Okay, so far so good. I've not died yet. Okay, what's that? Okay, got all grenade launcher. Yep, I'll take that. Could do with a grenade launcher. Those right shields? Right shields or not, we'll take them down. Oh, oh, that guy got in the way. It went straight through him, I think. Oh well, fair enough. At least it didn't kill him.
Oh my thank God, there's someone up there, isn't there? I'll tell you what, I'm just gonna go move forward. Yeah, these were definitely riot shields. I knew there was someone here. What the fuck are you doing? He obviously surrendered and just rolled down the stairs, showing that he gives up. Not how I'll shine, I'll probably have me I'll probably have my hands up in the air and probably knee to the ground to show I surrender, but no, not rolling down the stairs, not something I would do. I need to take that guy out there. If I don't take him out, I'm not going to get through. I could use a shotgun actually, but because there's quite it's quite narrow now around here. As everyone on the other side, I'll stick with the AK at the moment. As we're moving, I'm just get the shotgun out. Sergey, Sergey, get out of it! Oh, we've lost Sergey. No. We can't lose Sergey like that. Well, remember what Reznov said, victory can't be achieved without sacrifice. Shame Sergey had to go. That big brute. We would have been a lot helpful throughout the rest of this as we try to get out. Imagine if Woods had to witness this. It'd be interesting, wouldn't it? The Fist of Iron. So I need to keep Reznov protected. Keep me covered. Yep, if they shoot Reznov, he is good as dead. Especially when he's wearing that. Get out of it. Get out of it. Oh, wow, he's talking a few dots. These guys are armoured. Okay, Reznov's got that guy. Oh, we're going this way. Alright. Oh. Oh, we're heading back this way, aren't we? Of course we are. Aha, this is where we get this brilliant weapon. I love this weapon. It's so good. It's going to be so handy to get out of here. When we get to this weapon, this is what tops the mission for being one of my favorites in Call of Duty. This part here was so cool. Using a minigun to mow down all the enemies. Such a nice feeling. I'm standing my ground, relax. Just gonna make sure no more of them come up here. I don't think so. We've done so well to get out of here, to get this far. It's what I'm doing. You're in. Yes, I will. Of course I want to use the minigun. Make sure these guys are off Reznov first. There we go. Okay, I think Reznov can deal with the other guy. Okay, here we go. Time to bring out the big guns. This was my favourite part of the mission. Mowing down enemies with the minigun. Can't get more any more fun than this, can it? Okay, we need to get out of here. I want to save this minigun for the worst. We've got loads of vehicles and loads of enemy fire out here, so I want to save the minigun for this. Blow that up. Oh, the gun's overheating. Oh no, don't tell me I'm going to die. We've done so well to get out of here. Oh no! Should have seen that coming. Oh, 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 almost got blown up again. Okay, at least we're raining down loads of fire. At least those vehicles are exploding now, so I don't have to worry about them for now. 
We're just gonna keep pushing forward. That's what the minigun's for, so we can keep pushing forward. So far, so good. Come on. Where's the worst? I'm surprised none of the um, the prison wardens tried to get the minigun before we did. So I think that probably would have benefited them a lot more than it would have benefited us. But I'm not going to complain about it. We've got the minigun now. They can't do anything about it. Oh. I think if Sergi was still alive, I think he would have carried the minigun. That's for sure. I think. See the big guy, he could probably run with this thing. They are using tear gas! <coughs> oh, they use tear gas. Never left me. The door will not hold them forever. We do not have much time. Within this shrine, to the hypocritical decadence of our Kutus leaders, lays the key to step eight. Freedom. Here we go, time to get out of it. All this effort, all this killing for freedom. Let's get out of here. What we're gonna do, as we've got the bikes, we're not gonna stop. We're just gonna run straight through these guys and get out of here. With a little shotgun here to help me out in case they do get in my way. In fact, we got a little motorbike sequence as well, just topped off how good this mission is, really. By far the most memorable mission in the game. I think most people probably agree with me on that if they played Black Ops before. Obviously opinions differ, but most people, when people talk about their favourite Black Ops missions, most people will bring up Vorkuta easily. Yeah, I don't blame them, this mission is just so good. Uh oh, I'm just going to keep going, we need to get to that vehicle for it to get out of it. I want to take that guy out. Yep, yeah, there we are. Time to get out of here. Oh, can this kill? I need to keep the vehicle protected. See so if this vehicle explodes, we're doomed. Yeah, that's them down. I'll get rid of these bikers as well. Come on, get out of here. Give us our freedom. I died as the train was coming. Jump, Mason, jump. Go, Mason. Freedom! Your turn! Come on! Step eight, Resna! Freedom! For you, Mason! Not for me! No, Reznov! Jump! You should have jumped! And that was the last you saw of Victor Reznov. Yes. At least for a while. 